Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the different ways to completely disable most of the ads on Windows 11. I had talked about the issue of abundance of advertisement across the operating system, link in the description, but now in this video I want to outline the steps to remove most of these type of ads in the start menu, Windows search, settings app, lock screen, edge, and more. So you can enjoy the operating system a little more. Okay, let's dive into the step to remove or disable advertisements on Windows 11, but before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First, I want to show you how to disable the homepage in the settings app so you no longer get those cards reminding you to get OneDrive or Copilot Pro of other services like Microsoft 365 and there is even an upcoming update to the homepage that will also include an advertisement to promote the PC Game Pass. So if you don't find this homepage useful, let's dive into the steps to disable this page and then the settings app will open directly into the into the system page. However, here's a warning. We're going to be using the registry and this can cause issues if you don't do it properly. It is assumed that you know what you're doing and you have created a backup before proceeding. Link in the description to complete this specific task. Open start and look for the registry. Then you're going to need to go to this path, HK Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, Policy, Explore. Then press Enter to enter to the path. Then you're going to right click on the section and we're going to select New. And then we're going to select the, the string value option. And we're going to name it Settings Page Visibility. And then press Enter. Now right click the key, select Model 5, and you're going to use the Hide Home value and then click OK. Now you simply need to restart the settings app and then you're going to see the change. And now we're going straight to the system settings instead of the home page. And that way you will no longer see the cards promoting different services from Microsoft. So don't forget to tell me in the comments if you're actually are going to be using this option to make the settings app a little bit cleaner. Now, let's look at the type of advertisements that we can find inside of the start menu. On every installation, you will find that on the uh, pin section, there are some apps that they're pinned, but they're not actually installed in the system. They're just promotions for you to get into the different apps. And this can be different depending on the installation, but usually you can find Twitter or X, Photoshop, PixArt, Instagram, and many others. Now, the easiest way to remove these apps from the uh, pin section is just to right click on all of them and just select the uninstall option. And then repeat the same steps until you remove all the apps that you don't need. Once you remove all the promotions from the uh, pin section, you also have to deal with the accounts related notifications which while they provide some type of information if you're missing some details on your Microsoft account, sometimes you also get notifications, for example, to back up your data, which is okay to do that because you have to protect your files. The notification will actually promote using OneDrive to do the backup. And that can be considered some type of advertisement. So if you no longer want to see this type of advertisements, in this case, in the profile menu for the start menu, this is what you do. Open the start menu, look for settings, then go to personalization, then go to start. And then you want to disable the show account related notifications. Once you do that, the profile menu should no longer remind you of different type of account related notifications, including backing up your data. But I do strongly recommend that you create a backup of your computer and your files. Link in the description to get to the video where I show you how to create a full backup using the legacy backup tool inside of Windows. Finally, in the start menu, Microsoft is also planning to start showing recommendation for apps from the Microsoft Store right in the recommended section. Microsoft said that is to make apps from the store more discoverable, but they can also be considered more as a type of advertisement. So if you don't want to see those ads on the recommended section, this is what you do. Open start, look for settings, and then we need to open the start settings. And then you want to turn off the show recommendation for tips, shortcuts, new apps, ads, and more. Once you do that, you will continue to see recommended items right here, but 
now apps from the store will not be recommended in this section. Now, if you want to disable the recommended section without removing it, because there is no way to do that, you need to turn off these options. And once you do that, now the recommended section is turned off. And let me know in the comments, because I'm curious, what do you think on the direction that Microsoft is taking with the start menu and showing all these promotions? Now, Windows 11 also comes with the widgets dashboard which includes more news content than actual widgets. If you don't want to see the marketing content, which is also called Discover, you can turn that off so you only access your widgets. And to do that, you need to open the settings and then open this page and then turn off the My Fee toggle switch. And now the next time that you open the dashboard, you're actually going to see your widgets and that's it. It is important to know that Microsoft is planning to update the widgets dashboard interface with a left navigation pane and it will place the option to access the settings on the bottom left corner of the interface. If you want to know more about the updated widgets dashboard, check the link in the description. Pod Explorer is almost an ad free experience. If it wasn't for the OneDrive banner, that sometimes will try to lure you into using the service to back up your files to the cloud, which requires a Microsoft 365 subscription if you want to upload more than five gigabytes of data. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So on File Explorer, sometimes you will see this option right here, which many can consider as an advertisement. And sometimes you may even see a banner right here telling you to create a backup of your files to OneDrive. Like I said previously, you should have a backup of your files, but there's other options that you can use. For example, the legacy backup tool that is still available on Windows that allows you to backup the entire computer or your files to an external storage. Now, if you have a Microsoft 365 subscription and you want to backup your files to the cloud, you can do that and you can set it up from here too. Now, if you don't want to see the notifications from OneDrive, on File Explorer, this is what you do. Just open this menu and then go to Options. Then go to View, scroll down, and make sure to clear the Show Sync Provider Notifications option. Click Apply and click OK. And this will stop OneDrive promotions on File Explorer. Although Microsoft Edge is a great web browser, it is perhaps one of the most cluttered web browsers I ever had to use. And many of the features can also be considered as advertisements. So to turn off some of these advertisements, on Microsoft Edge, do the following. First, open Microsoft Edge. And the first thing that you're going to notice, besides that the new page is totally cluttered, is that we have the, the sidebar on the right that includes different icons to promote different services from the company. So in order to disable the sidebar, open this menu, go to settings, then go to sidebar and turn off this option, this one and this one. Now, if you also don't want to see Copilot, just go to Copilot and turn that off. And now you have a little more space for viewing content on the browser. Now, if you have the new tab as your start page when creating a new tab or when opening the web browser, you can make it a lot cleaner. For example, at the top, you're going to see that there are a lot of icons and some of them, they're even marked as ads, as you can see right here and right here. And also you have a lot of content that shows at the bottom. And if you consider that as advertisement as well, here's what you do. Click right here on the top right to see the page settings. Then you're going to set the off option for quick links. And then for content, you're going to turn this off. And just like that, you have a cleaner experience using the new tab. Now, the lock screen can also show various elements that may be considered advertisement, depending on who you ask. This include the weather widget accompanied by other widgets such as market, traffic, and sports. And if you use the picture option, the experience will show different information as well. Let me just lock the screen so you can see that right now I have the weather plus different widgets that shows different type of information. If you don't want to see that, first open and start and look for settings then go to personalization and then open the lock screen settings in here you want to select the none option for the lock screen status and when you are back into the lock screen you're going to have a cleaner experience now if you have the picture option you also want to clear this option so you won't get other types of 
details, then you might consider advertisement. Windows 11 also generates an identifier that it can be used to track and personalize the ads throughout the operating system. If you don't want the system to use that identifier to tailor ads on your experience, this is what you do. Open start, look for settings, then go to privacy and security, and then go to the general settings page. And right here, you want to turn off the let's add show my personalized ads by using my advertisement ID. You also want to turn off the show me suggested content in the settings app. You want to turn that off. And these settings are optional. So if you're here to eliminate most of the type of advertisements on Windows 11, you want to turn off all these settings. Finally, the operating system in apps can also show advertisement through toast notifications, but you can always turn this feature off globally or per application. And to do that, open start and look for settings. Then go to system and then go to notifications. Now, here are a few things that you can do. You can turn off notifications globally so you won't get the toast notifications like popping up on the bottom right corner, but you can still access the notification center to see the notifications, or you can turn on and off the notifications per application. So if you know a specific app sometimes shows different ads or promotions, you can turn off right here without having to disable the notification system completely. Also, you want to scroll down to the bottom and then click on additional settings and you want to turn off these three settings. This will also help you to minimize the number of recommendations or promotions from the operating system. And that's it. Those are pretty much all the different ways that you can disable the ads on Windows 11 so you can enjoy the operating system a little bit more without many of the distractions. Now, don't forget to share in the comments the features that you turn off on your computer. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.